Hey guys, I have a huge backlog of ice cream. You know what happens when I have a huge backlog of ice cream? I do a bunch of reviews in a short span of time. Which brings us to tonight. I'm gonna do four flavors of ice and vice for you in as short a time as possible. Let's get to it. First flavor, American Beauty. This flavor is creme fraiche ice cream with rose petal jinx. First spoonful. For those of you not in the know, creme fraiche is basically a fattier, less tangy, sour cream. Hmm. Pretty good. So we got kind of like a like a cheesecake thing going on here, maybe a little yogurty kind of thing. I don't know where that swirl is. There it is, up top there. Rose petal jam. Let me see if I can scoop some out and tell you what, how it tastes. It's kind of tangy actually. I want to say something like a like a like a strawberry or a raspberry a little bit. So this flavor is pretty good. Uh, not something I would eat an entire pine of, but definitely something I could see myself getting on a cone. I'd give it a seven out of 10. Next up, we got Happy Panda. Happy Panda is forbidden black rice sorbet, whatever that is. There it is, forbidden black rice sorbet. Definitely got a, like a horchata taste thing going on here. The texture takes some getting used to, obviously it's sorbet, but Definitely not a bad flavor. Not as bad as I was expecting. Once again, not something I'll get an entire pint of. Seven out of 10. Next up, bath salts. Bath salts is lavender ice cream with pine stracciatella. Should be interesting. All right. It tastes like I'm smelling a Yankee candle. It's really weird but strangely not gross. There it is. See, it's not that scary. This was the flavor that I was the most hesitant to try, probably a little scared of, and I gotta say, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Once again, this is a recurring theme, not a flavor I would eat an entire pint of, and really not a flavor that I'd ever wanna try again, but not disgusting. Six out of 10. Finally, we have Grapes of Wrath. This is Marcona Almond Ice Cream with Grape Kool-Aid Jam. I expected it to be purple, and it's not. So here we go. That almond comes through, and you got the, the, the Grape Kool-Aid flavor too. It's really, it's really interesting. I think so far, this uh, out of the four is probably my favorite. That's a really strong flavor, one that I really enjoyed. Actually, out of the four, this is the only flavor that I could eat an entire pint of. Really, really good. Eight out of 10. So to wrap things up on the reunion tour, I don't really think Ice and Vice is the ice cream that you wanna order online. Unless you're somebody that eats, you know, maybe a, a cone a night. If you're the kind of guy like me who likes to eat pints of ice cream at a time, Ice and Vice isn't really your thing. However, Ice and Vice is, without a doubt, the single most innovative ice cream company in the game today. They are willing to take risks that nobody else is and I respect that. Some of the best things I ate when I went to New York last time were at Ice and Vice. I will be going back, hopefully multiple times, next time when I hit up uh, New York, because the stuff they put on those cones and the stuff they put in their sandwiches, you know, it's like, it's like a, uh, a really good band. Sure, the CD's great, but when you see them live, that's how you truly should experience them, and that's how Ice and Vice is. If, if you really, really want to experience Ice and Vice, go to New York, go to the shop, get a cone or two and a sandwich, and uh, you'll really see what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.